Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are going to be going over the 25 most important gadgets to buy in Brawl Stars. Now out of star powers, gears, and gadgets, gadgets are the very first thing that you can buy to add on to your brawler at level 7. And for a lot of brawlers, it is so important that you buy the right gadget because it makes that brawler OP. And if you don't get that gadget, well, that brawler isn't going to be very good at all. So we're going to be talking about the 25 most important ones that you guys want to make sure that you buy so all your characters in Brawl Stars are as good as possible. Coming in at number 25, we have Stu's Breakthrough, and this is a pretty simple one. All it really does is just break through the wall ahead of you as long as it's not unbreakable. And this is very important because a lot of the time when you're playing Stu, you're facing throwers or squishy brawlers that Stu is good into, and they're just hiding behind those walls. With the Breakthrough, obviously, you can just go through the walls and absolutely destroy them, spam auto-aim, just do a ton of damage, and also make it nicer for your teammates and yourself when facing those throwers. Coming in at 24, we have Colette's Gotcha Gadget, and this is obviously a really good gadget. You guys might be surprised that it's this low and it's only 24, but that's because there are a ton of extremely important gadgets to have in Brawl Stars. This gadget is not as simple as Stu's though. You want to use this gadget when you have low HP, but basically when you click your gadget button, I think you have four or five seconds where you have a shot that's also going to heal you when it does damage to your opposing brawlers. Now, the more health that the brawler has that you hit, the more healing that your Colette is going to have. So if you're facing something like a Primo, you obviously want to use your gadgets on a full HP Primo rather than on a Barley or a Tick that doesn't have that much HP. Coming in at 23, we have Barley's Herbal Tonic, and this just provides so much value. So basically what this is, is if you stand in these heals, you get 720 health per second. I think it lasts four seconds, so you get about almost 3,000 HP worth of heals and it's not just for one player it could be for everyone on your team so you're looking at potentially almost 9,000 heals three or four times a game that is insane value and obviously really good if you're playing a mode like hot zone or gem grab where it's about control then this gadget is honestly unreal and it could carry you all the way to 1,000 max tier if you're playing the right brawlers Next up at 22, we have Penny Salty Barrel, and this is just really important because it does a lot of different things for Penny. If you're facing a brawler such as Piper, you can block 3,000 damage just by clicking your green button and putting a barrel in front of you. If you're facing tanks, you can put the barrel there and splash the barrel to do more damage. I mean, it's kind of high skill, but you're always going to get at least a little bit more damage. And all in all, it's just really important for Penny that you have this gadget because what's good about Penny is how diverse and how good she is at multiple different things. And a big key to that is having this salty barrel. So if you're a penny main, make sure you have it. Coming up at 21, we have Melody's Interlude. And this is also one of the best gadgets and most important gadgets in the game. It was really hard to make this list because there's just so many that you need to have. And this is definitely one of them. So Melody gains 10% shield from every note that orbits around her. So you only want to use this when you have three notes going around you. But basically, this just gives you like an additional 3.5 thousand HP. And that's really important because Melody is like an assassin, quick go in and out type brawler. And having that additional HP is very important. It's kind of the same as like Shield Edgar, except you're not hard stuck for 30 seconds at the start of a game. You're just chilling until you get those three notes and then you use it. Coming in at 20, we have Shelly Clay Pigeons. And I mean, obviously, this is just super important for Shelly because it gives her a lot of range. Where if you're in some hard matchups, that additional range helps a lot especially when it comes to getting your super or hypercharge. And if you're also using Shell Shock, which is the slow star power on Shelly, if you use your super to slow the opponent, then just click your clay pigeons and start auto-aiming. You're going to chain supers very easily. And it's just so important to have this on Shelly. I mean, I just can't imagine playing Shelly without having clay pigeons. Now, coming in at 19, and you're going to see this a couple times on this list, you have both of Crow's gadgets. Now, both of Crow's gadgets are insane. Some people prefer Shield Crow. Some people prefer slow crow but it honestly kind of depends if you're going up against tanks or brawlers with i'd say 6,000 and above hp then going the slow is insane because you can just very easily hit the opponent brawlers slow them and get your super and your teammates also get their super off the slow now if you're facing brawlers like throwers or piper or if you're playing showdown then the shield is very important because the shield allows you to go in and totally be like an insane assassin. Both are really good. It's kind of up to you. But if you're playing Crow, it's very important that you have one of these two gadgets. Because it makes him a lot, a lot better. At 18, we have Draco's shield. Now, I don't know the exact name for it. And I'm also a little bit too lazy to go and find it. But the shield gadget gives you invincibility for two whole seconds. Now, this is actually really important on Draco. Because if you can time it properly, 
then when you get at low HP and you're supposed to die, you can get like one and a half to two extra seconds of living, which is usually enough, especially if you're nearby and opponents are doing damage to you. Then you can stay alive a little bit extra longer, get your super, cycle it, get your HP back and keep on going. It's a really good gadget and very important if you're playing Draco. I would definitely 100% buy this gadget. Next up, we have Buster's Pull or what it's actually called. I know this one, Slow Mo Replay. And this is very important because just like Penny, Buster is a very well-rounded brawler. He's a tank, but he has a shield and that shield charges passively, which is really strong. And it's also really important for well-rounded brawlers to have stuns or pulls. And a lot of them don't, but Buster does. All this really does is it pulls brawlers towards you, but the closer you are to Buster, the more damage that you're going to do. And also pulling brawlers towards you doesn't allow them to shoot. And Buster is a little bit fragile when he's up close. I mean, I know he has a lot of HP, but he doesn't do that much damage compared to brawlers who are really good face to face. And having this pull and kind of allowing you to get two or three shots off before they can get one is really important. Now, I'm kind of surprised that this isn't higher on the list, but Buzz's reserve buoy is in Insane. Like, you definitely need this because if you don't have these extra gadgets, you're only relying on your super. And the reserve buoy basically gives you kind of like three extra supers a game. Now, I understand there's no stun, so there's a big difference between the stun pulls and then just like the regular pull. But it's really important, especially if you're facing counters, because it just gives you kind of like three extra opportunities to go in. And if you hit your actual gadget shot, then you're just charging your super again. And I mean, like, Buzz just needs it. Like, you 100% need this gadget on Buzz. Next up, just like Crow at number 15, we have Frank's gadgets. Now, Frank has two really, really, really important gadgets. I cannot over say or whatever word. I don't even know if that is a word. How important these Frank gadgets are. There's both a pull and an anti-stun, and it kind of depends on what you like to play. I personally suck at anti-stun, so I only play pull. Meanwhile, my teammate Sans, he sucks at pull, so he only plays anti-stun. But if you're facing like a Shelly or a Gale, just like typical Frank counters, using the anti-stun is like god tier insane against those brawlers. And then if you're facing brawlers that don't have stuns or a way to stop you, just running in a straight line at somebody with Frank. And then when you're low HP, just clicking your pull gadget, pulling them towards you and two-shotting them is just insane work. Like Frank should not be able to do that, but he can. So it's going to come in at number 15. Coming in at number 14, you have Bull Stomper. And again, like I say, every time, unless you are Pika, you need this gadget 100%. I mean, the Bull Super is just a little bit clunky. Like you just go in a straight line for like eight or seven or so tiles. And it's just a little bit weird. But with the Stomper, you can just kind of stop wherever you want to go. Now, what I will say is you don't want to use Stomper to just like kill Barleys or Throwers. Like you don't want to be a KD bull because then you're just useless. You can pick a lot of other Brawlers. But Stomper could also help if you need it to help. So it's very important that you have it on. And I wouldn't use it to get kills, but you could definitely use it to help you get kills, help you get positioning, stuff like that. Coming up at number 13, we have both of Surge's gadgets and obviously... Again, just like Frank or Crow, it very much depends on the situation, but at the very least, you need to have one of them. Now, there's a thing called Hard Stuck 1, where it's just, you are Hard Stuck level 1, Surge sucks at level 1, he's the worst brawler at level 1, but at level 4, he's the best brawler, so you just have to get there. I personally like the upgrade gadget, because you won't be Hard Stuck level 1, and all you really need to do is get level 2, and then it's a lot easier to progress. But once you're level one and stuck at level one, you're kind of screwed. So I'd like to upgrade a little bit more. But if you're facing tanks and stuff, running the shield gadget on Surge is also extremely broken. So it kind of just depends what you think you're going to face. I obviously have both because my account is maxed out. But if I only had to pick one, I would pick the upgrade Surge. Coming in at number 12, we have Squeak's slow gadget. And this is so important to Squeak's kit. It's what makes him good. And what's insane is this is the number 12 ranking gadget on my list. And it only lasts for five seconds, the slow. When it just came out, the slow lasted for 20 whole seconds, which I think is the longest lasting like gadget or star power or hypercharge or anything that's ever been in the game. And it was easily the best gadget of all time when it had that 20 second slow. Now that it's only five seconds, it's obviously not as good, but it's still very important when you're playing Squeak, so I would definitely put it on. Coming up at number 11, we have Rico's multi-ball launcher. And again, this recently just got nerfed, but it's still broken. The issue with Rico, and this is coming from someone who has played Brawl Stars for seven years, is when Rico wasn't S tier. The reason he was not S tier is because you're able to go close to the Rico with like an Edgar or a Mortis or a Primo and just kill him. But now if you go close with any of those brawlers, the Rico just stands still, 
clicks his green button, and you just explode because the gadget does way too much damage. Now, I've been begging for a nerf on this gadget. It got a little bit of a nerf, so I'm afraid I won't get much more. But this gadget's OP. It makes Rico, like, invincible, and it's very important that you run this on Rico. Now, coming up at number 10, we have Edgar's Let's Fly gadget, and I know there's a lot of very passionate Edgar mains, and some of them use hardcore which is the shield but the issue with the shield is you're useless for 30 seconds now i understand against like 300 trophy players that's not necessarily the biggest deal but if you're facing anybody good if you're useless for 30 seconds they are going to take advantage and they're going to be winning the game by a lot in those first 30 seconds if you use let's fly you get your super in four or five seconds and obviously when you have your super as edgar you're very good i just think it's a no-brainer this is a very very good gadget and one that you 100 percent need if you're playing edgar coming in at number nine and this could be a little bit higher but like nobody plays this brawler so hopefully i don't hype it up too much because this is probably my most hated brawler in the game but we have nani and her gadget return to sender now return to sender is like the craziest gadget in the game i hate it so 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 much because i like playing piper and Angelo and Brock and, and Nani return to center just absolutely hard counters all of that. But if you're playing like Bounty or Knockout, Nani is like the king of snipers. Like I understand Angelo is a better sniper and Piper is a better sniper. But if you put an Angelo, a Piper and a Nani in a room, that Nani's the one that's going to be walking out. Because at the end of the day, those snipers, they just can't do anything to Nani if she uses her gadget. There's no outplay ability. The only thing you can do is wait for it to be over. But then while you're waiting, the Nani's just shooting at you for free. And it's like, what can you even do, really? Next up at number eight, we have Kenji's Hosomaki healing. And this did just get nerfed, but I still think it's pretty good. What it basically does is it just heals you for a lot of the damage that you recently took. If you took damage five seconds ago, it's not going to work. But if you get hit by a Piper for 3,000, and you heal you're basically going to get all that back it's really good for kenji's kit because obviously kenji needs to be like two tiles away from anyone to get any hits and he's going to take damage when you're two tiles away so having this gadget is really important because it's just giving you some like extra hp and obviously every brawler would love some extra hp coming in at number seven we have macy's disengage now for the super with macy for running away with macy for the hypercharge with macy disengage is so important because those extra dashes get you space get you just area like you need this on macy 100 percent i don't really have too much to say it's not that high skilled it's just a dash but like you need this to play macy there are some weirdos who still play macy so i mean you already know what I'm talking about, but if you don't play Macy, definitely pick up this gadget. Coming in at number six, we have Lose Cairo Syrup, and that is so important to have because what it does is it freezes anybody who's standing on your Lose Super by 50%. So the reason Lou is so good is because you can chain supers and you can chain supers by hitting frozen enemies. So when you're throwing your Lose Super onto somebody and then they're standing on it, you hit them with your gadget so they already get 50% freeze and then they're just gliding one way or like forced to move a specific way and it's it, they're just easy to hit. You start chaining Lou Supers and it's really insane. It's really important that you have this gadget though because the shield gadget is just useless and if you throw your normal Lou Super and don't have this gadget then odds they get fully stunned is a lot lower than if you did have it. Now we're talking about the top five and these gadgets are just must haves if you're playing these brawlers. Like if you need these gadgets if you're playing these brawlers it's 100 percent no question about it coming at number five we have home made recipe for piper no obviously if you're facing a mortis or a tank of some sort you want to run knockback but you shouldn't be playing piper where there are tanks and if you're playing knockout or bounty homemade recipe is like an extra two or three tiles it's a curve like there's just a lot to love and obviously piper does a lot of damage so if you're hitting one or two shots you're probably getting some kills. Coming in at number four, we have Sam's Pull. I don't know the name of it, but it's just a gadget where if anyone is near Sam's gloves, you pull them in. And obviously that's so important because having someone right beside you as a Sam is the difference on if you're gonna get a kill or not. Now, if there's walls around you everywhere, then I guess you don't necessarily need it because you're always gonna have speed and healing, but a lot of maps just don't have that many walls. And having that pull three times a game is such a big difference. Honestly, when I'm playing Sam, I also use plus one, so I have four pulls. It's just so important to have that. It is such an important gadget. Now, these top three, you 100, 100, 100% need on your brawlers. It takes these brawlers from literal two out of 10 or three out of 10 brawlers to seven, eight, nine, or 10 out of 10 brawlers. Like the gadget makes that much of a difference. And coming in at number three, we have Carl's Flying Hook. Being able to kind of like 
not teleport, but hook yourself from one side of the map to the other is absolutely insane, especially when you're playing Carl, because the Carl super is direct impact. Like you need to be right on somebody to use that super. So being able to just totally teleport like 10 tiles up is insanity. You can also use it for positioning. You could also use it to where if you're facing a dynamite, for example, or a barley or a piper, you can go right beside them and there's just nothing those brawlers can do. Like you 100% need Carl Flying Hook if you want to play Carl in any way. Coming in at number two, we have Sandy Sweet Dreams and Stun Sandy is just like, wow. It's just wow. It completely changes the brawler. For one, it's an impossible move to stop in Brawl Ball. If you shoot the ball and follow it up with a stun shot, nobody can stop it. There's nothing anyone can do besides Frank with anti-stun. Secondly, if somebody's playing for example, Carl, and they go on you with flying hook and then you super, well, it's not a problem because you can just stun them. So any aggressive brawler that comes near you, you can just stun and it is completely avoidable and you're safe. It just completely changes the way Sandy is played because without those stuns, Sandy is very vulnerable. She doesn't do a lot of damage and she doesn't have a lot of range. So because of that, a lot of assassins or a lot of tanks can just go right up to Sandy's face and just completely kill him. But with the stun, that is not an option. And coming in at number one, the best of the best, the most important gadget of the game, I have Dinah Fidget Spinner. No, I'm kidding. It's obviously Dinah Stun. If you use Fidget Spinner, you're probably just a really good Dinah having fun. I mean, I kind of do it sometimes. I'm not a good Dinah, but I like to have fun. But the stun is just so good. You can chain supers with the stun. Obviously, you do a lot of damage when playing Dynamite. So being able to have someone stand still and just being able to auto aim and hit your shots on him 100% of the time is insanity. And it's just really easy to chain supers, hypercharges, whatever you need on Dyna because you only need four sticks in order to get super. And sometimes you could stun and chain two supers. Like it's insanity what you can do with the Dyna stun. But anyways, that is going to be our list. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's going to be it for me today. I'll catch you guys again soon.